America, 650 cases, 17 deaths. The World Health Organization saying that countries like Italy, but also Iran uh, and uh, South Korea have really reached critical points uh, in their responses. So all eyes very much on countries like this one. And what we're seeing already, even as the country here in Italy tries to battle uh, the spread of that virus, which already has cr crossed the border to a number of neighboring countries these last few days, uh, is already taking its toll on the economy. Museums like this one, which houses uh, the Renaissance masterpiece, Michelangelo's David, much, much quieter than it would normally be. We've seen in Iran those Friday prayers cancelled for the first time in more than 40 years. In Saudi Arabia, pilgrimages uh, to Mecca uh, and to Medina have been cancelled for people coming outside the country. And back here in Italy, we've seen uh, 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 teams like Inter Milan playing essentially uh, to empty stadiums. So what you're seeing is these countries that are being hit really trying uh, to contain the virus, to contain its spread. But those very measures are leading to sort of the sort of changes in habits and panic that are having and likely to have over the coming weeks a devastating impact on the economy as these countries try to contain a virus uh, that you're less likely to get than the flu, but that you are more likely to die of. John. Those images from that Inter game yesterday were stunning. This was a, a tournament game, a Europa League game, that normally 45, 50,000 people would have been there. The stands completely empty. Just think of that. Think of what the impact of that is. And then I have to say, Melissa Bell, with one of the most majestic backdrops you can have on the planet, to have David behind you. Michelangelo is David behind you. But the crowds there are not that big. I mean, normally it would be mobbed, I think, at this museum to see that statue. Melissa, thank you very much.